What up, what up? <laughs> it's Garage Jim, homie. And today, today, I'm talking to you about how I train, man. I want to go into some detail about my number of sets, reps, uh, exercise I do, all this and that, that and this. Is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button, homie. I got content coming out all the dang time for you. So click subscribe and let's get into this, man. God bless all of you, man. I hope you're feeling good, man. Remember, the buzz from the heart is number one, man. Then you could throw in the stims, man, but don't rely. The buzz comes from here, man. This is where God is. Staying out of here, living in here. Always remember, man, the buzz comes from the heart. That's that's where, the, if you're looking for stims to give you the, you're looking for them to do the wrong thing. It's all fun and games, man, playing with them stimulants and pre-workouts and this and that. But you got to have your ducks in a row first, man. Your spiritual, all that, man. I don't want to lecture you, man, but you're like my children. No, for real, though, I'm talking junk. Beautiful evening out here, man. Let me just say, it's like 7.30 at night. I just got finished with a grueling a grueling leg session, homie, here in the garage. I love training, man, non-stim. I'm higher, high as heck. Let's just say that right now, man. Um, so listen, I want to talk to you, man, going to uh, how I train specifically. I've been training the same way for a while, and I've done a lot of different things, man. I've done the the split. I've done chest and back. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to do another video about my progression into training and how it's uh, changed and formulated, but let's stick to the script right now, man. So we're talking about how I train now and how I train homie might not be what you like. You might say, GGH, you're doing it wrong. Science says this, science says that. I don't care about science, homie. I don't even believe in science. No, I'm just kidding. I believe in real science, man. Not that, not that bought and paid for sellout science, homie. Not that Singerman science, we call it. Um, for real though, uh, you know, I, I just do what works for me, man. I have a, we all have a relationship with, with uh, you know, our own bodies, our muscles. Uh, hopefully, uh, some of you have a relationship with God. Some of you have a relationship, uh, you know, following your heart. Um, and so we all have the, that relationship that we have to listen to, man, and that, that's good for us. And I have my own relationship with my body and my muscles and God. So I, I follow that, man. That's what I listen to. So... Bodybuilding is about years, man, of learning your body, learning how to uh, tweak things, change things. You know, it's it's a lifelong process. The way I, I train today might not be how I train in a year from now or 10 years from now. Uh, hopefully it's going to change and evolve. And, and you know, I, what's a man if he can't change his ideology? So right now, this is what I do, man. I do what, what you call a traditional bro split. Uh, I'm doing cardio, uh, and I'm going to get very specific and detailed with you on this video because I haven't done that before. Um, I'm doing cardio now. I'm doing stairs. I'm doing cardio, let's say, five days a week, and I'm, I'm hitting muscle groups five days a week pretty much. So let me get right into it. Stairs, bike, swimming. When I say stairs, I mean the stair mill bike swimming, yoga, yoga. Right now, I don't have my membership to the yoga studio. Um, they started politicking about some COVID stuff, and I, I just backed away for a minute. So I, I've changed out. When I say yoga, I've been using that as uh, dog walking sessions, man. So I, I do that. And, I, and I've gone into my cardio, let's say, and, and they're interchangeable. So let's say I wanted to do the stir mill five days a week. I can do that, man. All, all of them are interchangeable, but I try and hit each thing. Yoga, yoga, which is now dog walking, stairs, bike, swim. So I'm swimming once a week. I'm doing the bike. Uh, I'm going to start doing the bike now that it's warm out, and I'm going to be doing the stair mill, and they're all interchangeable. So I could do the bike, you know, three times, if I, whatever it is. 35 minutes, man, cardio session, at least 35 minutes. The watch has to say 300 calories. If I'm biking, it's got to say 10 miles. If I'm swimming, it's got to say at least 70 laps. And if I'm walking the dog, it's got to say at least three and a half miles. That's 3.5 miles because I, I say 10-minute mile if I'm running. So that's a 
3.5. So at least, you know, it takes me about an hour and 20 minutes of a dog walk to hit three and a half miles or whatever. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm calorie burning. So that's a lot of information, but whatever. So I'm doing five cardio sessions a week. I prefer my cardio sessions to be in the morning fasted. I train best when I'm first thing in the morning fasted. That's when I'll take a fat burner and I'll, I'll go hard on the cardio, no food in my stomach, I feel the tightest, my heart rate gets up the most at that time, number one, I got good morning energy, I'm not like kind of over the day, I mean, that's a kind of a weird thing for me to say, because I, I love every minute of the day, but by the end, I've, I'm more worn down, and I'm not in the mood for cardio, I'm more in the mood for iron pumping, because I got food in me, that's, you know, whatever, so... My point is this, um, I prefer doing cardio in the morning, weights in the afternoon. Having said that, they are interchangeable for me. I'm allowed to do weights in the morning, fasted, and then cardio later. If I'm like reviewing a pre-workout or whatever, I'll hit, you know, I'll do the pre-workout in the morning because I only allow myself stimulants once a day. I don't do all oh, afternoon, pick me up, energy drink, cup of coffee. I've never been into that, homie. Once a day, I allow myself a stimulant, and it's only allowed to go towards training, and it's in the morning. Those are the rules I have for myself because I'm an addict, and it's easy for me to get carried away. Now let's talk about the strength training. I find that my strength training is much better done in the afternoon. I, I go to work. I take a 20-minute hit or nap. Literally, I say, hey, Google, set the timer for 20 minutes or whatever. It sets the timer for like 20, 22 minutes, I tell it. That's enough for me to like really get back in the zone, man. Just a quick, quick schluff, as my homie calls it. Um, so I like training in the afternoon because I've had food in me throughout the whole day. I find that I'm stronger, non-stim, I'm stronger training in the afternoon, then I am first thing in the morning, even with the morning energy, stimmed up. Even stimmed up, I'm stronger non-stim later in the day because the food seems to make a big difference in my strength. All the times I've been, I've benched 315, whatever, it's always been with food in me. When I've deadlift 315, all that, man, I'm doing deadlifts, I've done, you know, 15 reps at 315. It's always when I got a, like at least one meal in me first. The food seems to go a long way, man, even longer than the stimulants. Um, so here's how I train, man. I'm doing a muscle groups once a week. I try and take two days off a week. I just do um, chest, back, shoulders, uh, chest, back, shoulders, uh, what the heck, legs. <laughs> And, and arms. I do buys and tries together. And then abs are whenever the heck I want. So I could either do abs on its own, maybe on a Friday after work. Like I'm not going to train at the afternoon because I'm saving that one last workout for high stim Saturday um, with my brother. So maybe I'll just hit abs by themselves. Or maybe I'll incorporate abs in another workout. You know, I can throw, kind of throw abs any, anywhere I want but I only do abs once a week. I treat abs like every other muscle group. So if I'm gonna train everything once a week, I'm gonna train abs once a week. If I were to change my training regimen, I'd train everything twice a week. I'd train abs twice a week. Never believed in that whole hit abs every day. They're a smaller muscle group. I, so what, homie? I don't care about that. That's fitness not, you're spinning your wheels. Your abs ain't gonna get any better training them every day you're, as they will once a week. I promise you, man. That's in your diet. Um, so the other thing I'll say is, so let, let's talk about back. Uh, when I hit back, I do 36 sets. It takes me just over an hour or an hour. I'm in the gym, homie. My training's intense. If you've watched any of my high stim Saturday videos with my brother, they last about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. That's the same way I train by myself. I do my set. My brother does a set. When I train by myself, I take the same amount of time between sets. I'm pretend I have some imaginary friend, then he's doing his set, and that's how long I rest. So if it, if I'm doing a set of a back, it might take my imaginary friend 30 seconds to do his set. 
I'm back on. So I'm doing very little rest in between sets. I'm torching down the muscle. I'm hitting it once a week. So I'm torching down the muscle. Homies, don't get crazy with me and tell me that uh, science this, you got to train the muscle group twice a week. If you're training properly, you're hitting your muscle groups multiple times a week. When you hit chest, you hit triceps. When you hit back, you hit bicep. When you hit legs, I'm I'm hitting my arms. I'm holding. When you hit shoulders, you're hitting your. They're all getting touched, homie. Don't worry about it. I promise you. That doesn't mean a bro split's right for you, man. I'm just saying. Don't 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 get in your head too much. I trained for 11 weeks and take the 12th week off. I've been doing it for for almost 10 years, and I put it on the calendar. And that 12th week is about 10 days because I go from that Saturday to the next, I go that, you know, Friday, that Saturday to the next Monday. So that's almost 10 days off. Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, nine, 10 days. No stims, nothing. But that's for another video. So let's say I'm hitting back, man, back to back. Back to talking about back. Um, 36 sets. So I'm doing... 32 sets for my back, and then I'm hitting eight sets, or I'm sorry, 28 sets for my back, then eight sets for my lower back, and they're in groups of four, four sets per exercise usually. Very rarely do I do five per exercise. Sometimes when I'm training with my brother, he'll be like, let's do five sets per exercise, so I'm doing less exercises. So I'm doing basically nine, nine, Nine exercises, I'm doing four sets of each with very little rest in between sets, as much as it would take somebody to do a, a set. Um, so, and I'm lifting as heavy as I can to do, basically, my rule is, if I'm doing less than eight reps, the weight is too dang, uh, if I'm doing, excuse me, if I'm doing less than eight reps, the weight's probably too heavy if I'm doing more than 15 reps, the weight's too light. So my range is 8 to 15, bodybuilder kind of range. And do I have to train every single set to failure? No, I don't, man. I, I kind of just train it till I feel a good squeeze, a good pump. Sometimes I train to failure. Sometimes I don't. It, it's, I don't walk in the gym with any kind of plan. I've never been the kind of dude who walks in the gym with a dang notebook recording every rep, every set. I just try and turn the music on, homie, and vibe. I don't know the next exercise until I'm done with this one, really. So I do have something in my head that I hit as far as how I train. So I do like to do, let's say I'm doing back. I want to hit one, this is in my head. Barbell, dumbbell, cable, machine, body weight. I want to hit at least one of each of those. So if I'm hitting one of each of those, let's say one barbell exercise, I might do back rows. I might do Yates rows. So that's, let's say I do uh, back rows with the barbell. That's, that's barbell. Let's say I do one arm dumbbell, uh, one arm dumbbell rows. I'm bent over rows. Uh, that's dumbbell. Uh, let's say I do cable rows or pull downs as cable. Uh, let's say I do, I have a machine here for the back machine, uh, and body weight exercise, usually pull-ups or any kind of the body weight can also include the vest, something like calisthenics, like with body weight. So I'm kind of getting the best of all the worlds of the equipment that I have. And that applies in the gym too. It doesn't really change dumbbell, barbell, machine, cable, body weight. So right there, if I'm hitting all five of those, that's five exercises right there. That's 20 sets. I'm 20 sets in. Then lower back, I'll either do some dumbbell, uh, some uh, rack pulls or some deadlifts. That's 24 sets. And then uh, I could do the, um, the what's it called? The chair here. Uh, the hyper extensions is what I'll say. So that's that's five that's 20, uh, 28 right there. So then I only have eight more sets where I could do whatever. I could do another dumbbell. I could choose, you know, out of that dumbbell, barbell, cable, uh, machine body weight. I could do another one. So as long as I hit all those ones, then the next, whatever I'm missing, I can choose if that makes sense. Uh, shoulders, 
I do 36 sets. Um, four, I do out of those 36, four of those are going to be shrugs. So I got 32 sets plus four sets of shrugs, and uh, same thing: dumbbell, barbell, cable, uh, body weight machine. I try and do one of all those. And I'm doing at least two for, I can go into videos with each individual muscle group where I'm doing um, at least two of the exercises are going to be like a press. I'm always going to do some kind of uh, side lateral raises, usually with the dumbbells, sometimes with the cable. Uh, I'm going to do at least one kind of front raise, uh, one bent over. I mean, that's a lot right there, man. If I do two of each of those, that's 32 sets in right there. Two presses two, uh, you know, rear delts, uh, two sides, uh, two frontals, you know, a dumbbell, barbell frontal, cable front, whatever it is. I have so many freaking options, homie. Uh, you know, and then four sets of shrugs. It's easy to do. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do videos on each individual muscle group into real specific details on how I train them. Arms. I do 20 sets for biceps. 20 sets for triceps. I usually start with triceps just because of a little bigger muscle group. Um, dumbbell, barbell, cable, uh, machine, body weight. Then I do it, that's 20 sets, four of each. Then I do it for, for, uh, for biceps. Dumbbell, barbell, cable, machine, body weight. That's it, 20 sets. And I could, maybe I'll change it up and I'll go in there, I'll do one set for triceps, one set for biceps. One set for triceps, one set for biceps. I could change it up, man. I mean, I, I could do whatever the heck I want. I don't, as I said, I don't go in there with a plan. I just kind of feel it out, man. But that's years. If you're new to the gym, you're probably not going to be able to go in there so clear-headed and just vibe with it and be like, all right, man, what's, what am I feeling right now? What's next? You know, I hit, I hit some, uh, some hammers. Maybe I, now I want to hit some, you know, different angle, whatever it is. It's all about forming a relationship and getting comfortable with the weights. I'm no stranger to the dang weights. I could go in any gym and just feel comfortable there, man. But that's years of training. And then legs. I do 16 sets for quads, 12 sets for hamstrings, 12 sets for calves. So what's that? That's 24 plus 16, uh, 40, I think. Yeah. I do 16 sets for quads, so I'll usually do a uh, dumbbell, barbell, um, dumbbell, barbell, uh, usually not cable, uh, like a machine, um, and uh, or body weight, whatever it is, man. I'll do um, some squats. I'll do uh, you know some uh, some dumbbell lunges a lot of times. The machine, I got the uh, the leg extension. I got the uh, the what's it called? The sled here. I got the um, I got so many options, man. And so I'm doing yeah, 16 sets for quads, 12 sets for hamstrings, 12 sets for uh, for calves. So if I'm on a tight squeeze of time, man, in the morning or whatever, maybe I'll superset the hamstrings and the calves. You know, like, I could do that, homie. I'm, it's a free country. So we're already talked about back, shoulders, arms, uh, legs, and lastly, chest. Um, with chest, I do 32 sets. So that's eight exercises, dumbbell, barbell, cable, body weight, uh, which is easy. You either do... Uh, you know, um, dips, chest dips, push-ups, I superset chest dips to push-ups, whatever, and, uh, and machine. Uh, I got the power tech here. So I have so many variations, man. So that's chest, 32 sets. So just to review, 36 sets for back. Eight of those are going to be for lower back. Uh, 36 sets for shoulders. Four of those are going to be um, some kind of uh, shrugs. Whether dumbbell shrugs, I got the, the hex bar, or uh, whatever the heck it is. Uh, um, then I got arms, 20 sets, buys, 20 sets, tries, uh, chest, 32 sets, and, uh, and legs, 16 sets, quads, 12 sets, hamstrings, 12 sets, calves. 
I'm freaking exhausted, homie, after this. So I'm just telling you what I do. I know I'm a little scattered, man. I'm high, and you know I'm just going through each one. Very little rest. The most important thing for me is the intensity of my training. Even if I'm hitting arms, I want my heart rate up the whole time, man. I want to be calorie burning because I'm exhausting the muscle more when I'm not giving it too much dang rest. I'm not a power lifter, man. I'm trying to get a nice physique and exhaust the muscle and have a good workout. I don't need to rest five minutes between sets so I can lift the heaviest weight possible, man. I want to stay between eight and 15 reps and the intensity of my training is what's going to really break down the muscle and my rest is what's going to let it grow bigger. As far as abs go, uh, I do 300 reps in 25 sets each. So, you know, that's uh, uh, 12 different things, whether I do a circuit going around of four different things or I do 100, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do separate videos about how I hit abs. And then I do 200 for oblique. So my ab workout takes about 20 minutes, 300 reps for abs, then 200 for obliques. That's, that's 500 reps, throwing that in whatever. I could superset it in my exercises or do it separate or do it after. So that's my training, man. I mean, that's how I do it. An hour in the gym, man, to an hour and 10 minutes. In and out, homies, in and out. Check my High Stim Saturday videos. You'll see how I train with intensity, like a, like a beast. I go in there and I give it 110%. And I just tell myself, this is gonna hurt for a freaking hour, man. And then it's gonna feel good. So I've just told you everything, man. That, that's what it is. And I'll go into each individual muscle group. So I'll give more demonstration. I'll show you how I train them and what I do and how crazy my head is. But it, at the same time, I do stay out of my head and just kind of let the workouts flow. So that's what I got. God bless all of you together. Let's get this dang muscle. I'm out. <laughs>